Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is the return of Project Wingman. We are almost done with the soundtrack. This song is called Red Sea, and it's requested by Daniel over on PayPal. As some of you know, but if not, I will catch you all up to speed. This is one of the only games on the entire channel where I've heard like the whole soundtrack from beginning to end, so it's kind of, of a unique case of hearing everything it has to offer and we left off with peacekeeper 2 plus intro and that was one of the coolest songs i've heard on the channel not even just project wingman so you know we are approaching the end here this is red sea after this i have three left which is presidia kings and coronation if you're curious and they're coming pretty soon in that order so let us continue off of peacekeeper 2 with red sea Jose Pavli, of course. Project Wingman from his official channel. Let's go. Yeah, the energy is definitely picking up now in these last couple ones. Oh, that look metallic type hit is back. That. That showed up at the end of Peacekeeper 2. Organ? I heard that. I like the pulsating electron. Um, well, it just went away, but the pulsating synth. I feel like I've heard that before. Ooh, that sounded familiar. Sitar type sounds. Soundtrack is so bizarre. You know what's one thing very interesting about this game that I noticed is the, the the spatial awareness. Because obviously, what I know about this game is very minimal. It's just, and it has been the entire time. Is this image has been my sole visual reference of the game? But I'm aware, you know, it's kind of a, a dogfighting jet game. So obviously, the sky is. I'm guessing two things show up a lot, and that's the sky and the ocean, or something, you know. But what I'm saying is, like, it's a very vast, open, in my mind, it's a very vast and open landscape. But the music doesn't sound like that. The music sounds kind of like it's filling in all that space. 
if that makes any sense. I don't know how to also describe it. There's a lot going on in these songs that are very busy. A lot of percussion. There's there's multiple layers of percussion. You know, well, like in this case, we have like these kind of war drums, but we also have this kind of boom, boom, bah, snare hit. And then we also have that kind of metallic sounding type drum, whatever that was. So there's all these, it's a very full sound, like nothing, none of the space gets wasted, I guess. And I wonder if that is intentional because of how, uh, what word am I thinking of here? If, if I were to make an assumption, which is a very poor one, but if, if I'm assuming the scenery is monotonous in this game, then the only way to counteract that would be to have a lot going on with visuals, effects, and music. Again, I don't know, just a guess. <clears throat> I did hear, I believe, something familiar in the song for the first time. I'm not sure if I've caught motifs yet. Maybe. But I feel like there was a section in there that I've heard before in one of the songs, and I don't know which one it is. I'm sure the comments might tell me, but I'm pretty sure I did. You know, I'm pretty sure I've heard a string section that kind of like escalated and then went away. But it was there for just like a quick, quick run and then went away. So let me know if I'm hearing things or not. So one thing that I've noticed throughout all these songs is there's really nothing, at least not yet, that I've heard that really signifies a kind of nice, happy moment. Everything sounds extremely tense. And if you think about it, if I were to put myself in a cockpit with a jet that goes faster than the speed of sound, with, you know, war artillery on board, that's a pretty stressful situation. You know, you control destruction with a couple buttons. That is stressful. And on top of that, you're looking 360 for oncoming fire. So the whole idea of being in this situation sounds terrifying, right? And I noticed the game kind of, or the soundtrack kind of tends to that. It's nothing really like, for example, I don't hear like pianos and nice little things. Everything sounds like this internal monologue, I guess. I, would, I, can, I can envision all this music going on through someone's head, like first person view, like, like POV, like, you know what I mean? All these feelings and all these ugh, stresses, that's what it feels like to me, which is good. Because, I mean, just look at that. Just that image alone, right? This just flying away from destruction, certain death type of thing. So it does that very well. In this case, it did it well with the pulsating synths. Synths? Pulsating synths and the drums, of course. Man. If anything... Oh, and as far as setting, um, it's kind of the same. You know, actually, there's, I, I was going to say this actually now that I think about it. The Red Sea. I don't know if that has to do with a fictional place or if this is the actual Red Sea, which, oh my god, I'm sorry if I don't. It's been a while since I've been in school, but I think the Red Sea is like, oh, I'm going to say something wrong. I could just Google it. I, From my memory, I want to say like Afghanistan, Middle East. Somewhere Middle East, Egypt, somewhere around there. And I know, the only reason I know about that is because the Red Sea is known for like how hot the water is. Something else about it too. I forgot. It's been a while. So I don't know if this is actually is supposed to take place. I never even thought about that. If it's supposed to take place in like, you know, Earth or some fictional place. But when I think of Red Sea, I think of, well, I guess that. I think of kind of like a mountain range. I think of sunsets, not sunset, no. I think of like dusk, morning. And I don't know if that's just because, yeah, I think it's just because this is called red, see? I don't think it has anything to do with anything. I guess I just saw the word red and I was like, oh, it's red. But for some reason, this sounds kind of, I don't know, I just keep getting the feeling of like dusk. 
But as far as the song title, I have no idea if that relates to the actual Red Sea. But, uh, something else to consider, I guess. Anyways, regardless, I look forward to the final three. Uh, even the next one is a big request. It's uh, the biggest request, if anyone's curious, is, is Kings. That's the, the, the one after next I'm doing. But Presidia also has a lot of requests, too. So we'll see what that is about. And then after that is Coronation. So three more. And uh, it's been a ride, no pun intended. Uh, hearing these songs, it's very unique. Every every other game I've done on the channel has been little bits and pieces, random boss battles here in this. In this case, Project Wingman is like a whole adventure that I've been going through chronologically for the most part. I'm pretty sure uh, a comment told me that the first two I heard were not even in order. But then after those first two, they were in order. So, Whew. Okay, shout out to uh, Jose Pavli, who, who I think... I saw a tweet the other day that they are working on another game, so congrats. I forgot what game that was, but cool. Jose probably uh, has commented on this channel before, and uh, cool, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Check out, this is all his official channel. Check it out. Red Sea, tell me more about it. Three more. Next is Presidia, and I uh, can't wait for that. I have no idea what that means either, but it's all good. Thank you to all my... Uh, Project Wingman viewers, and you know what's funny? One more thing is this has happened a lot with this game. There will be people have told me in Discord that they bought it because of the soundtrack, because of these videos. Some people have said that they tried listening to it just because they're on my channel and they've been impressed. So there's a lot of like, I'm like converting people slowly, which is pretty funny. I think that's great, you know, because maybe, I don't know, maybe you see this and maybe you're just not normally into these kind of games, which is fine, you know, not everyone is into aviation and all that, but at least you can appreciate it in another way, like me, which is just the artistic nature of the music. Anyways, thanks to uh, my Patreon members that you see here, thanks to my Platinum members that have priority requests in uh, my Patreon side. That is Kevin, Patrick, Terry, Vanadel, Kalanin, Gardelaine, Mushimeri, Justin, Nox and TriEdge101. Thanks to you for watching. I will see you in Presidia. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. My name is Jesse. Later.